If your daily driver has top star technology, then no doubt in my mind that you've seen this light come on your dash. So if you wanna find out some of the reasons why this happens, stick around. Hi guys, I'm Mark from MTM and today we're going to be looking at the few reasons why our stop star system might not be working on our modern daily drivers. This technology is supposed to be better for the environment and provide you with better miles per gallon, but the majority of the time this feature doesn't even work, so it's a little bit counterproductive. There's a lot of criteria that you already have to meet in order for the system to reliably work on your car. So for the full list, you should always look at your driver's manual, but we're going to cover the main offenders here. So one of the main things is having our aircon going. So if we expect our car to stop and keep our aircon running, it's a lot of draw on the battery and the system knows this. So it thinks that it's going to be a lot of draw on that battery. And potentially if it shuts down with the aircon going, then it might not be able to start back up again. So because there's a potential that that might happen, it shuts it off as a safety feature. The second biggest thing that will deactivate your stop start system is your engine temperature. So specifically your engine coolant temperature. It wants to make sure that it's above a certain threshold before it'll allow that system to work properly. The biggest amount of wear that can happen to your engine is on a cold start. So when you start up first thing in the morning, the car wants to make sure that it one, gets to a right temperature, and two, that it has enough oil circulating freely throughout the engine to lubricate all of those moving parts. If you didn't do that and you just started it off and on, off and on, off and on from cold, then you would prematurely wear the engine and it'll cause you problems later on. So this is to prevent that from happening. Our next thing that won't allow your stop start to work properly is repeated stops. So if this function has worked once for you and you want to move off again, you have to travel over a certain distance or build up to over a certain speed in order to reactivate that function and for you to use the stop start again. This can vary from manufacturer to manufacturer. So again, refer to your owner's manual and you'll be able to see specifically what you need to do to get yours working again. This next issue will only affect you if you're driving a diesel. So all modern diesels have a DPF filter or a diesel particulate filter, and this fills up with soot from the engine. And every now and again, it needs to go through a self-cleaning process in order to get rid of that soot that's in your exhaust. If it's going through this procedure, then it doesn't want to be interrupted. And because the car wants to get through this procedure as quickly as it can, it won't shut off the engine during this because you'll have to go through it again next time. So whilst this procedure is taking place, you won't be able to use your start stop function. Okay, so the last thing that we're gonna be looking at today in what can stop your stop start function from working is your battery, or to be more specific, the state of charge in the battery. You'll notice on most modern cars now that you get a little sensor that's on the top of your negative terminal of your battery, and this is monitoring the state of health and the state of charge that's in your battery. So even though you can start up fine and there's no issues when you turn the key, the state of charge might be below 80%. If it's below 80%, then the system won't allow it to do the stop start function. It does this because if it's below 80%, there is a possibility that if it stops, that it might not start back up again. And because there's that possibility, it won't take the risk and it'll knock off that feature. However, if you do meet all the criteria for the stop start to work and it stops the engine, but you're sat there for quite a long time and the criteria changes, such as your battery drains to below 80%, then again, it's being monitored throughout, so it'll start the engine in order to counteract that. So it has the ability to start up on its own without you trying to shift it into gear to start it up. Nine out of 10 complaints referring to the stop start system have to do with the battery being below that 80% of charge. And it's an issue that is gonna be worse and worse with more people using their cars after lockdown. Because they haven't been using their cars and the battery has been slowly draining, it's going to be falling below that 80% threshold and therefore their stop start function won't be working. And that is it for this week's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's given you something to think about in relation to your start stop systems and things that you can do to prevent it from not working for you. So guys, as always, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And also hit the bell for notifications for when we drop a new video. And see you soon guys, stay safe.